population. And then uh, uh, our IGV People's Project that we mainly uh, achieve the objective of CSR partnership. And lastly, Global Talent by IGTA, we have short-term, mid-term, long-term, remote, partly remote, and also physical. And a quick uh, go through on every uh, term, every MC term of sales achievement. So just a disclaimer, we started from uh, the latest context that we put down here and presented here is from uh, fifth, uh, term 15, 16, and this is uh, mean MC term 15, 16. And the amount shown here is actually the, uh, the national sales, which is MPD instead of LC sales. Of course, uh, because of course LC sales amount will be bigger and higher than this. So you can see these are all your all the predecessors and also all the alumni that we have. And there are some familiar faces uh, that you saw it before. I think Kibun, if you were in previous B2B summit, she was here uh, in one of the sessions on, I think it's uh, asking the right question, if not mistaken. Yeah, so this is the uh, MCVP and PD or MCVP PD, we call it that we have before. And also this is an overall achievement that we have achieved. And you can see the uh, new faces, Jiayi and me uh, as director and PD as well I introduced before. And next, uh, these are the list of company that we have worked with before from term to term. So you can see, uh, if you recall back the achievement, right? So in term uh, 17, 18, we actually have a big point from Asia as well. So that is also the, year that we have partnership for our OGV exchange. So we have Asia sponsor some big point uh, for flight ticket to go exchange. So we have uh, one of our, our partner as Asia and then Wanderlust, uh, you can see Wanderlust work with us for two years. Uh, it's actually a cross-term partnership and then we bring it back then. We bring uh, them back again in uh, GIE term, same as well for Maxis. And then uh, also uh, on previous, the latest uh, like car, Currently, we also have an, some new partnership that we have formed, which is UOB, ADA Asia, and also Proton. So these are the list of uh, partners that we have worked with. And uh, I, if you be aware and you pay attention to our ICOM currently in MC Malaysia, you will see PNG uh, company logo again. So we are also working with them back again uh, after, so, after five years, I think, in uh, since term 15, 16. So these are the list of company that we have worked with before, uh, mainly on national financial partner. So a bit of history uh, and a bit of story and also how does actually sales evolve from terms uh, 2015 until uh, today, which is uh, year 2021. So when we, uh, back then on from term 15, 16, 16, 17, so mainly uh, the things that we would uh, do very successful is actually our youth organization positioning as well as our membership task point because main, the main value positions and also the strength that we have uh, is actually youth network outreach. It is still the same. And this is the things that we are, uh, is a signature of our organizations in terms of external engagement. And that is also the year where we mainly focus uh, a lot on sales through youth network and also membership touch point. So you can see a lot of the partners that we have before, actually they were our conference uh, partner or they we have ambassador program of, with them through our membership. And then we run digital campaign in our membership or they come in as our Youth Speak Forum partner. And that is also the year where we are very strong with PR, with government, as well as media partnership. And that is also the year we have LCBD sales team that focus on uh that we that mainly focus on this few portfolio uh for IGV as well as for uh EY event. The the structure is actually quite similar with what we have currently, like EY event, every LC will have their own uh event. And that time we call it, uh them BD sales team in uh, instead of EY. So this is also the year we started to pilot IGV project uh, P-box project at national level. That's why we have speak up, that's why we have. Uh, uh, COP that is born uh, in this across these two terms and this and term 2016 as well is also the year where PwC signed long-term financial partnership with us uh, which is a three-year uh, agreement and then uh, we also formed Teach for Malaysia for Speak Up project uh, and it is the partnership that lasts until today. 
So please appreciate uh, Teach for Malaysia for IGP and because these are they are one of the longest partnership that a partner that have worked with us. And also, as you can see, we actually have a high amount of entity revenue coming from a uh, partnership uh, in these two terms. So moving into term 17, 18, uh, we started to shift a bit on our organization focus to exchange product as well. Uh, hence, our sales operation and also BD operation is actually uh, the size of the sales operations uh, is decreasing and the operation is downside due to shifting focus to exchange product and also alignment to IZ2020 milestone where we will heavily focus on exchange so that we can have more youth to um, impact it and also participate in exchange product. Hence, uh, sales playing a role as a supporting uh, sales functions and also sales playing a role that is more supporting towards our product, especially in IGV. That's why we have PD for IGV structure uh, in LC and we no longer have uh, BD structure and mainly B P P PD for IG structure in LC will be supporting on NCR sales uh, and also FP uh, school partner as well as LP which is what we are having currently the structure and also the way that we are doing so that is how uh, sales uh, when entity focus change uh, how it will impact on LC sales uh, function and also how it is impacting on uh, IG uh, product direction and so how is the role that everyone playing in supporting the product as well. So nationally, we also, uh, even though we still have our sales team as NPD, PD for IGV, but mainly a lot of it is also focusing on forming a learning partner. And then at the same time, we participating in a lot of external event and applying a lot of uh, grant as well at that time uh, nationally to support on our IGV project uh, so that we can uh, reach out to more uh, target beneficiary and also we can have uh, more international youth to come in as well. And then uh, this, if you recall back uh, on the list of logo, right? So this is also the year that we have uh, uh, OGV partnership. That's why we have AASIA as our partner. And then we form partnership for OGV product. And then we also have uh, Faith, which is also the sub, uh, a partner that is supporting uh, OGV exchange product. And then uh, coming into term 1920 and also term 2021, which is the recent year, which is also the, uh, the, fam the most famous event that is happening, which is COVID-19, right? So we would say COVID-19 is actually a turning point that allow us to realize that the importance of B2B, uh, business to business, as a very important channel to connect uh, us as an organization with external world and also external resources. Because if you realize before this, we're focusing a lot on uh, exchange, we're focusing a lot on youth, we will say youth side, but not on our partner side. And this is also the turning point for us to realize that we have to start to uh, go out, we have to start to connect with external world and also external resources if we want to continue uh, driving youth impact, if we want to continue uh, be relevant uh, be relevant in the uh, in current external environment because we need to know what is happening outside and we need to know where do we stand on, right? So that is uh, a turning point and also a learning for us as well. Hence, uh, we have more and more sales functions uh, coming out and also that which is, for example, EWA, EWA functions. And then we bring it back to have an uh, event to, uh, to have short-term event for youth and at the same time also bring in a uh, different partnership uh, beside CSR, which is on project, uh, which is on uh, community impact. But at the same time, we bring in partnership that directly work, uh, provide external opportunity, provide external exposure to uh, the university student, to the youth that we are reaching out as well. So that is how uh, it has been evolved. And also that is how, uh, this, how it was before and also currently, and also why we actually have EWA functions, why we actually have uh, PDIGV functions uh, from uh, currently and from here as well you can uh, I hope you can know and also understand more actually how is also uh, your sales function and also sales history evolve in your LC so that you can know more uh, and also understand more what is your strength and also what is the foundation that you have built out because from the previously maybe for example if you realize from uh because just now we have a questions about what are the uh, LC that have BD sales team before, right? So from there you will know as so, oh, so these are the, uh, I did 
actually have BD function before. So maybe I can look back on the outlook line on, for that year, or maybe I can find back the resources that I have for that year to know how they actually do uh, EWA and also how they actually approach partner because we used to uh, be good at sales or we used to be competent at sales. So, and also, uh, also how we learn from uh, previous mistakes and also how we learn from the trend that is also changing. Then we come up with a different sales portfolio that is supporting that, uh, that is supporting the environment that is happening that time. For example, currently when uh, COVID happened, right? So instead of physical conference portfolio or instead of a physical partnership for OGV exchange product, we started to shift it to, uh, let's say, buy side. Uh, instead of international youth, we focus more on our local youth. And then at the same time, uh, from the learning that we have learned as well, we have to connect more with uh, as a novel. That's why we started to explore and work on B2B marketing. We started to uh, build out the foundation for our linking and then fix our website, which is uh, actually done. Uh, we didn't use it uh, for a very long time, like actively use it for a very long time. So we have our website built out, linking at the same time on annual report, uh, youth consultancy report, which is also a few milestones that we, uh, I hope we can celebrate together in here as well, which is a youth consultancy report for employing, uh, employer branding sales. So if you know about this already, I hope you can use it for your EVA sales or any uh, partner that you're approaching. Uh, to, to know and also because this uh, is a consultancy report that uh, we actually put in effort to study what actually the youth want and also what uh, actually company looking for in current young people, right? So it will be useful for you as well, especially for EWA functions. And then at the same time, we uh, have annual report in our LinkedIn. And if you want to have access to PDF uh, folder directly, you can approach your MCVP as well. And then uh, also our website and also our linking. So that is also the channel where you can link your partner. And that is also a channel where uh, you can read more because we have a, more, a lot of information, testimonial that have been put out. At the same time, we have people, uh, ESD that is constantly writing blog. So that is also uh, the information or resources that you can show to partner at the same time for you yourself to understand uh, more as well, what is the things that we are current do, currently doing and so what is the impact that we are doing as well. So these are also a few milestones that we uh, would like to let you uh, know at the same time to celebrate here together and also the, for the things that we have built up. And one more question. So right, one more thing, right? You might realize are uh, the sales amount actually decreasing from year to year and also what is the reason, things like that. So, uh, and this is also the things that I want you to remember. Uh, leadership development is no longer what only Isaac can provide. Uh, I mean, we have more and more youth organization. We have more and more leadership organizations out there that is also doing a similar thing. And that is also seeing the same value, uh, value proposition and leadership development, right? So have to remember, we are, no, we are not the only organizations that deliver youth leadership we have more and more organizations. So uh, that's why relating to the key message of today as well, understand what is our strength, understand our surrounding. Uh, and also for LCVP or director, you have uh, your sessions in your LC replanning uh, on external research, right? So understanding what is our unique value propositions and hence uh, that is how it uh, connecting to Okay, what we are doing uh, all this well, and that is how we can continue to deliver sustainable youth impact. So that's all for me because Eugene keep texting me. <laughs> we are running out of time. So if you can see, uh, we actually already post out the uh, feedback form. So I will ask Eugene to paste the feedback form link again in Telegram chat. And then at the same time, you can uh, assess the feedback form in the uh, spreadsheet, your harvesting learning spreadsheet. So if you have done, uh, please put the tick. And I, I saw people uh, putting down the tick already. Good, good job. Uh, and then we will, uh, so that we can know how to improve for tomorrow sessions. And one reminder from Minyi, which is the FASI for tomorrow. Uh, if you do not have LinkedIn account yet, please make sure you open uh, a LinkedIn uh, account today. I mean, by tomorrow sessions la. So tomorrow, by tomorrow morning, make sure you have your own LinkedIn account because we'll be using it for a tomorrow sessions.
yeah so that's all from me uh, uh thank you everyone and see you tomorrow and uh, sorry for the delay